Task and motion planning is one of the great challenges in robotics and involves joining continuous motion optimization together with discrete high-level task planning. The extent of the search space makes simultaneously solving for discrete high-level decisions and low-level trajectories very challenging. In this work, we propose a differentiable problem formulation that is applicable to a large number of task and motion planning problems. Task and motion planning relies on the notion of kinematic switches. A kinematic switch happens when an object is picked up by a robot and becomes part of its kinematic tree, or when the object is dropped and removed from the tree. This switch generally happens suddenly, and it seems natural to model this in a discrete manner. However, here we are exploring a different option. Our main contribution is to model the connection between objects and robots using real-valued time-dependent functions. We call them association weights as they associate a particular object to a particular end effector. The association weights are used to modify the kinematic switches and to implicitly describe pick-and-place tasks. This enables us to incorporate the kinematic switches into an optimization problem that we can solve using gradient-based optimization methods. At the core of the smooth kinematic switches are two constraints. The first one forces the position of the object and the end effector to coincide whenever the weight has a non-zero value. In the other constraint, the weighted velocity of the end effector is subtracted from the velocity of the object. Now we see that if the value of the weight is non-zero for some duration, then the first constraint ensures that the position of the end effector and the object are the same. However, this also implies that the velocity of the end effector and the object must be the same. Therefore, when both velocities are non-zero, the velocity constraint can only be satisfied when the relevant association weights sum up to 1. On the other hand, if the value of the weights are exactly zero, then the relative position of the object and the end effector is unconstrained. In the velocity constraint, the only remaining term is the velocity of the object, which then must be zero in order to satisfy the constraint, meaning that the object must remain in place. These two constraints are the key ingredients for smoothing out the kinematic switches. When solving the problem, pick and place actions appear implicitly as part of the solution, and the actions can directly be read from the value of the association weights. To illustrate the expressiveness of our formulation, we present a few examples. In this example, the mobile arm can easily pick and place the block. However, if we place a wall, the robots now must perform a handover maneuver. Our formulation also supports multiple blocks. More complex interactions with the objects in the environment are supported as well. The formulation can also be extended. For example, here we show how different grasps and regrasping can be incorporated. This is done by introducing another set of functions that associate a particular end effector to a specific orientation in a similar way as the association weights before. Here is a useful feature which is enabled by having the association weights appearing explicitly in the formulation. By imposing these two constraints, we can limit the rate of change of the weights. By choosing the upper and lower limits appropriately, we can extend the duration of the pick and place actions. Here is an example where the rate of change is limited. Now the robots are forced to make a pause when the object is picked up or dropped off on the ground which gives us time, for example, to actuate the grippers. As you can see, the duration of the handover is also extended. On a real robot, this would look like this. For more details, please refer to the paper. Thank you for your attention.